Hello students, this is Shraddha Tone from Computer Engineering Department. In last lecture, we have seen the block diagram of 8051 microcontroller. Now in this lecture, we will see the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. So let's see the pin diagram. So this figure shows the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. The 8051 is packaged in a 14 pin DIP. And it is important to note that many pins of 8051 are used for more than one functions. So what are the alternative functions are there this is in that are included in these points. So we will see what are those alternative functions and uh, fun pins and its functions. So the 8051 has 32 input output pins configured as 4 8 bit parallel port that is P0, P1, P2, and P3. All four ports are bidirectional. That is, each pin will be configured as input or in output or both. So, all port pins are multiplexed except the pin of port 1. And each port consists of a latch, an output driver and an input buffer. So, let's see the use of pin one by one. First is port number 0. Port number 0 means pin 32 to 39. So we will see the function of this port number 0. Port 0 pins can be used as input output pins. The output drivers, I uh, sorry, the output drives and input buffers of port 0 are used to access external memory. And port 0 outputs the low order byte of the external memory address, the time multiplexed with the data being written or read. Thus, port 0 can be used as a multiplexed address or data bus. Next is port 1. Pin number 1 to pin number 8. So, port 1 pin can be used only as a input output pins. Next is port 2. That is pin number 21 to pin number 28. The output drives of port 2 are used to access external memory and port 2 outputs the high order bytes of the external memory address when the address is 16 bits wide. Otherwise, port 2 is used as an input output port. And the last port is port number 3. The pins used are pin 10 to pin 17. All port pins of port 3 are uh, multifunctional. Therefore, each pin of port 3 can be programmed to use as an input output or as one of the alternate function. They have special functions. As, uh, they have some special functions including two external interrupts. Means for example, that RD bar. See RD bar, WR bar. INT1, INT0, TXT, and RXT. These are the some special functions. Then two counter inputs, two special data lines, and two timing control stops. For example, here RD bar. RD bar, this is pin 3.7. So this RD bar external is uses external memory read signal. WR bar external memory write signal. Then T1 will used for the external timer 1 input. Then T0 will used for external timer 0 input. INT1, this is used for external interrupt 1 input. Then INT0 will used for external interrupt 0 input. Then TXT, it is a serial data output. And RXT is a serial data input. So these are the pins which is included in the port 3. Now next is a power supply pins VCC that is pin number 14 and VSS that is pin number 20. 
that is G and D. So, 8051 operates on DC power supply plus 5 volt with respect to ground and the plus 5 volt is to be connected to pin VCC and ground to pin VSS with rated power supply current of 125 MA. Next is the oxidator pins XTLA2 and XTLA1 pin number 18 and pin number 19. So, these are the auxiliator signals. It is so uh, for generating an internal clock signal, the external oxidator is connected at these two pins. Next is ALE, which is called as address latch enable pin number 30. So, the use of this pin is AD, AD0 to AD7 lines are multiplex. So, to demultiplex these lines and for obtaining lower half of an address and external latch, the ALE signal of 8051 is used. Next is RST. So, RST means reset, that is pin number 9. So, this pin is used to reset 8051. For proper reset operation, reset signal must be held high at least for two machine cycles while accelerator is running. Pin number 9 is PSEN that is called as program store enable pin number 29. Pin number 29 is program store enable pin. So it is the active low output control signal used to activate the enable signal of the external ROM or EP ROM. It is activated every six accelerator periods while reading the external memory. Thus, this signal acts as the read store to external program memory. And the last one is EA, that is external access pin number 31. So, when the EA pin is high, that means it is connected to VCC and program pages to address 0000H through 0FFFH. These are directed to the internal ROM and program pages to addresses 1000H through 4 times F, that means FFFH are directed to external ROM or EP ROM. And when EA pin is low, that means it is grounded and all addresses from 0000H to FFFFH fetched by program are directed to the external ROM or EP ROM. So this is all about the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. Thank you.